Okay. Here is the final A arm. Uh, once I'm done with this A arm, all the bushings and all the ball joints will be out, and it'll be time to start uh, working underneath the El Camino. So, just to give you a preview of what I'm working with here, look at the quality on that 19. Look at the quality on this 1977 uh, A-arm bushing right here. Just in case you're wondering why I'm uh, going through all this to change it out. And, uh, yeah, so that's not in too good a shape. Um, set that right there. Look at that ball joint, upper ball joint. Uh, that's pretty much gone. And the rubber uh, A-arm stopper. If you see, that's all cracked up and needs to be replaced too. These I actually have to order. I couldn't find these at O'Reilly's. I'm going to have to probably uh, order these from the El Camino store. But they're only like $6 a piece, so it's all good. Um, once again, uh, bushing just, you know, breaking up and brittle and falling out of there. So it's uh, not that great a shape. Step one, let me use this wrench. And of course you can't see what size it is in the camera, but it is 15 sixteenths. And I'm going to take these two nuts off of this end. Um, you got to take this one off, and you got to take this one off. Uh, I'm going to have to... I don't have another 15 sixteenths wrench, and I don't really feel like looking for the sockets at this point in time. But for right now, for what I'm doing, I'm just going to hold this one with this crescent wrench. It'll do fine uh, as long as you got a good crescent wrench. You, it's, it's big enough to where you ain't really got to worry about it tripping. So that's going to be the first step is remove them two nuts. And I'll fade this back in. The A-arm all set up back in the vise again. Now, it took me a while to figure this out because there wasn't too many videos online. But the first step to this is in order to get this A-arm in order to get this A-arm shaft out of the A-arm, you first have to use a hammer and chisel to get this bushing out. Now, there might be an easier way to do it, but uh, I don't know how. And the bushing remover will not work on this one because the shaft's in the way. I can use the bushing removal tool on this one easily and if you notice, one side is bigger than the other. This side's bigger, this side's smaller. This side's all the way in, this side's sticking out about maybe a quarter of an inch. There's a reason why it's sticking out. Because they, I guess you don't, they're not supposed to go all the way down with it. But that's what's gonna happen now. Uh, I need the hammer. I'm gonna use this chisel and this hammer uh, to slide this bushing out. Um, there might be an easier way to do it, but I don't know what that way is. And I couldn't find no videos online to do it, to show anything. For some reason, there's very little videos on this A-arm bushing. But here we go. I think that's why I'm making this one now. To help everybody out with the old schools. Who needs a little help. So, first step to this is uh, hammering this out. I'm going to put my gloves on because, you know, safety first. <laughs> Alright. After the first couple of whacks, I realized the vise is not tight enough. Uh, I'm gonna put my extension in so I can uh, hold this vise tighter. Cause you want this clamp down as tight. Cause you want to try not to have the. You want you don't want the AR moving too much on you. So it's always ha it's always good to have like some kind of little uh, extension for your. All 
Uh, I can tell it's already moving. Uh, it's broke free a little bit. And there you go. That's step one. Knocking the bushing out. Uh, that's the first stage of this. So once you get the bushing out, well, I guess it. Once you get the bushing out, oh, sorry. I guess if I thought it would help if you take these out first, the center, uh, the center shaft bolts out. You don't need them in there. Okay. Now at that point. Should turn freely. There's a lot of playing here for some reason. So I'm just gonna hammer it from this side. And there you go. Uh, I just realized uh, this A arm is positioned in the vise the wrong way for me to use that clamp. So let me reposition the A arm and then I'll fade this back in once I get everything uh, set up and ready to go. Okay, I'm back. I got the A-arm all set up in the vise the way I needed so I can, the thread faces the bottom, so I can get the wrench on the bottom. All I'm gonna use is this uh, 22 millimeter socket. Stick it on here and tighten it down. Now, when I do that, What's gonna happen is this A-arm, this is just gonna push the A-arm right out of there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. <laughs> uh, when you do this and you're by yourself, make sure your feet is nowhere near. Try to watch where it's falling, you know, try to, you know, not put your foot right under it because uh, all these pieces will fall all out, especially if you ain't got nobody to hold it. And if that hits your foot, uh, it will hurt. Because <laughs> these pieces here, they're heavy, and this piece is heavy. But there's the bushing, popped out, just like so. Voila. All right, got both bushings out and the shaft out. And now only thing left on this A-arm to do is this busted up uh, ball joint right here. Oh, and wait a minute, let me show you the stop. Uh, the rubber stop is real easy to get out. Uh, since it's already broke up and you're gonna have to order new ones anyway, uh, when you replace it, you just kinda put your screwdriver in there. And basically just finish breaking it. Voila. Just like that. And you push the rubber piece through and that's how you remove the front A-arm bumper, or whatever it's called, the rubber stopper. So now, at this point, one thing I got left to do is this last ball joint. Okay, people. This is the final stage of this here. It's the upper ball joint. I gotta get this out, it'll be a finished deal. First thing, 
I want to do is move this grease fitting, which is used as a 5 16 wrench, because this will be in the way, so you definitely got to move this uh, so it's not in your way of what you're trying to do. Now, I got that moved. Now, this here is kind of um, crusty. It has a lot of slug and buildup on it. So what I'm going to have to do is scrape this with the screwdriver and also I use a combination of that screwdriver and this wire brush to clean this off just a little bit. But if you can see, there's a, I don't know what you call this, a rivet or a stud or whatever. There's four of them holding this ball joint on. One, two, three, four. But I need to clean all the grud and grime and grease and stuff off of it to even get to these so I can see what I'm working with here. So let me clean these off so I can see my four pieces here and I'll fade this back in and I'll show you how to get them off the easy way. What I'm going to use right here is uh, this air powered hammer. Um, this thing is uh, just basically going to rip these things off basically with brute force. The only thing about this is it's loud as hell. So me, I'm going to wear some ear protection because I don't want to hear metal on metal clanging at high decibels. Alright, I'm trying to talk too loud, but here we go. I'm going to get these four off with this right here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Now, at this point, you're going to have to wedge something in between there to uh, kind of break the ball joint free. <laughs> and that's just pretty much the hardest part here. Right uh, now once I got a little crack in it, um, that's basically good enough. I just used a screwdriver and a hammer with this. I'm going to take it over with this chisel and uh, do it like that. And, of course, because it's the last one, it was to be difficult. Uh, the other one, the first one just popped right out of there. So now I'm going to go back. I know I got it pretty loose now. Go back to my screwdriver here. Okay. This usually goes a lot quicker probably because my vise now is loose for some reason. <laughs> Okay, now as you see, uh, the A-arm is slipping out of the vise. So, let me put the A-arm, reposition the A-arm once again in the vise and uh, get this out for you. Alright, I'm back. I got it all positioned in the vise. Uh, this is the perfect time where if you had a crowbar, that would do it. But as you see, as I was talking, the screwdriver just broke it free. And there you have it. Uh, you know, upper A arm removed. Now you still got these four little stubs right here uh, sticking out. 
All you gotta do is, it works a little better with a smaller hammer, but I'm just gonna use this one. Just hammer them down. Okay. And the hardest part to doing this is just getting the damn A-arm set up in the vise so it won't move. Uh, as you see, I didn't do too well at that yet again. So, once again, let me reposition this so I can hopefully lock it in this time. You got four, these four little uh, stubs sticking out. You just gotta hammer them down flat. Now, as you see, I hammered them and they pretty much fell out, all except for one. So I'm gonna to try to use this corner of the screwdriver and boom, that one fell out too. And there you have it, folks. Uh, A-arm bushings is uh, completely broke down. Uh, this was the last A-arm I had to break down right here. So got the ball joint out the a-arm shaft and all the bushings out and the a-arm stop so this is pretty much uh, ready to go i got the uh, got all my bushings out and ready to go and just one step closer to completion all right y'all hundred spoke riders signing out until the next episode